This used to be the entrance to the bathroom and the kitchen, but now it's crowded with records. I have about 30,000 records here in this place I live here. I'm sleeping here on a folding bed every day, surrounded by records. Uh, when the CD came along in the 90s, people they were throwing out all the vinyls. Uh, there were a lot of homeless vinyls on the street. I just want to prolong their life. I have 10 times more in my big storage. That, that's about like um, 300,000 records there. Inside all these boxes, they are all records. Yeah. Yeah, all the boxes you can see, except the turntables. Yeah. I've been selling for 32 years. The first 20 years I was on the street. Then I had only like a two boxes of records. I earn records with records. Then um, they double up to four to eight. It's uh, like a snowball effect and until they, 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 become, so, they become so many. <laughs> Every day I stay here listening to the music, having beer and flipping through the records. We New Jungle, this is a We New Jungle. I'm the Tarzan. I'm now only half hippie. In this city, we have to face the rea reality. Hippies can hardly survive here. Locally, there were some hippies here, but finally they had to cut their hair and face the reality. They, had, they became businessmen and they became yuppies and all that. <laughs> I want to tell people this is a gold mine. It's more important than gold, because gold you cannot listen to, but my gold play me, play me music. If you are going to San Francisco, 